I still don't know what I've just witnessed. I, I still don't understand what a difference a week in football makes. I'm just blown away. This is probably not the best idea to do a video right now because I am speechless. I am, I've been rendered speechless, guys. What has just happened? I've just watched a Leeds match on the red button and I don't get what's, what's going off. So if you didn't know already, Sheffield United today won 2-0. And Leeds have just gone and thrown away a one-goal lead against a 10-man side. Like, I know Leeds were camped in Wigan's half for a very long time. A very, very, very long time. But Wigan absolutely defended like absolute warriors. Can't believe it. I just want to buy every Wigan player a beer tonight. But... Yeah, in all seriousness, one week ago, I was absolutely distraught, thinking that's it, season done. And it wasn't just because of where we were, as in like three points behind Leeds and dropped kind of like four points in two games. It was the way that we lost. And so we've had, we've had uh, Stearman come in, we've had um, Craney come in, uh, Medine started... And they've all put an absolute shift in today. So proud of the boys today. I know it was uh, Forrest who've lost three games in a row, now four games in a row, I know. But they've got some great players. They've still got really good players. Joe Lolly did not get a sniff today. I'm surprised that Graben were on the bench because I really, really like Graben. He must not have been doing the business recently. But I'm not going to talk about Forrest because... We were just excellent in that first half. the 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 final ball just wasn't wasn't perfect. It just wasn't great. Um, and in the second half, we we remedied that. We uh, we were just we were excellent. I've got to say, Hass, I know Mark Duffy got the man of the match with an excellent goal and ran the show today. But David McGoldrick, God, that guy that guy nearly impregnated me about three or four times with some of, some of the turns that he were doing. He's, uh, he's just a special, special player. And if he had less injuries in his career, if he had a little bit more pace, a little bit more um, ruthlessness in front of goal, he could have been anything he wanted to be. What a player. What a player. He reminded me of... Uh, <laughs> no, he didn't remind me of Lionel Messi. I was just going to say he reminded me of Lionel Messi. He didn't, he didn't. But he was brilliant today. So, so good. At one point, there were two guys in uh, at what, either side of him. Just cried turn through, straight through them both. So, without Billy Sharp, without Chris Basham, and without, who was it, John Egan, the boys were brilliant. I thought Stearman did everything he needed to do. I can't remember who plays up front for Forrest now, the big lad. I forgot his name. Uh, but Stearman, every single time, were up his arse, winning them balls, he might have been stronger than Stearman, but Stearman did exactly what he needed to do every single time. I thought he was brilliant. Uh, Hendo didn't really have much to do. Um, Craney, very steady. Jack O'Connell, brilliant as always. And Stevens, unbelievable. That guy is 100% the most improved player this season. Last season, I thought he was brilliant in between kind of like... He wasn't great defending. He made some daft mis uh, mistakes and decisions sometimes. He wasn't great. Well, his final ball wasn't great, but everything in between I thought was excellent with Ender Stevens last season. He was just missing those two key parts of his game, um, which I think the same as but with Bulldog. The passing, the moving is brilliant, but Bulldog's uh, ball into the box sometimes isn't amazing. Sometimes his... Um, his defensive kind of decisions aren't great. Like today, um, he gave the ball away at the back really, really simply. And it's those things that you just need to cut out. But Ender Stevens, man, wow. And what a goal. What a finish that was. So, uh, so yeah, I just, I just don't get it. I just don't get what's going on in this season. It's crazy. Like, that, looking at that Leeds team, they, for the, I've been watching them for the past few games. And they've been unbelievable going forward. And when Bamford scored that great goal early on, I know they, they missed a the penalty with Hernandez. 
Um, and I know I'm, I'm just flitting in between United and Leeds at the moment. Just whatever's coming into my brain is coming out. So, uh, yeah, so so Hernandez missed a penalty. Darren Manson off Wigan. I thought, that's it. I nearly turned TV off and thought, Leeds is just going to walk it from here. But I didn't. I kept the faith in uh, Wigan boys. Uh, to be perfectly honest, um, Leon Clark must have done that um, done that team talk because them boys were just playing out of the skins. So, uh, so yeah, man got sent off a handball in it. Um, and uh, and then Hernandez penalty was saved. Uh, then literally a minute later, Patrick Bamford, great finish, great goal. And I thought, yeah, this is going to be two, three, four nil now. And then Wigan snuck a well, very well taken goal. Took um, obviously got back in the game just before half time. That that obviously shook Leeds a little bit. Uh, and then towards the end. I, I just don't know where that goal came from. Ball into the box, Leon Clark nodded it back across for, I forgot his name, the lad who scored. Just, I'm astonished. I'm astonished. And uh, I don't necessarily think Leeds played badly at all. But um, Wigan definitely, I think the 10 men is always difficult to break down, always. Um, because they just sit in. They just sit in. Uh, defend and defend and defend. Sit literally sit between the six yard box and the eighteen yard box, and it's so difficult to uh, to break teams down like that. Um, especially a lot of a lot of the Leeds balls were kind of flicked into the box, and they were they were loving it in the air. Leeds should have been playing football on the deck. They slung it in the box way too much, in my opinion. Uh, but like I said, it's oh god, it's a it's a long season, isn't it? It's a long, old season and so many twists and turns. I can't, I, I still can't believe we're second. I thought we'd thrown it away last week. I, I honestly did. And I thought the mentality, I, I wasn't even sure we'd beat Forrest today, if I'm honest. Um, I knew that Forrest had lost three games in a row. So I thought they'd want to sit in, defend and try and just not concede. I thought I thought it was a big possibility they were going to be nil-nil draw today. And uh, Duffy with an excellent, excellent goal, which he de deserves. Duffy doesn't score enough goals for me. Um, but when they do, more often than not, they're really special. And he absolutely deserves it. I love the guy to bits. Um, I thought Gary Medine up top, big, strong, won a lot of stuff. I, I did notice right at the start of the game, uh, and we did do this for quite a lot of the first half, Medine kind of wasn't being marked by centre-back. It He'd um, kind of go out wide a little bit uh, and, and we were playing that cross-field ball for him to win. And because he kind of went out to the left-back, to Jack Colback, he was winning every single header, bringing it down in his chest, bringing people into the game. I thought he was brilliant in the first half. Um, yeah, I thought he played well. He's just got... His touch is not great. Um, he's not a great footballer, in my opinion. I think he's a good finisher when he gets the chance. And I think he's good at holding the ball up. Um, but it's difficult when you've been playing passing football all season to bring in a big lad, l lump it up to him, and then pe players to, to just know where he's going to head it down to. It comes with time. And I do think he's going to carry on with the same um, same front two, Medine and McGoldrick, bring on Hogan, bring on Dowell to kind of support when, uh, when Duffy's tired and that. I think... I think they were brilliant today. Uh, I think it's going to be the same team on Monday night, except for I think Egan will come in for Stearman. Um, but yeah, absolutely loving life right now. Uh, but like I say, it could all change on Monday. We might not even be second for a week. It's just how crazy this championship is this season. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. I'm just shell-shocked what's happened. Um, but yeah, we've got Hull on Monday, and I want to say Leeds have got Villa, is that right? Or is Villa the one after? I can't remember. But uh, if we can beat Hull and Leeds don't beat Villa, then I don't think it is Villa, you know. Whoever it is, whoever Leeds have got, then it's going to be tight, it's going to be really tight. And I'll tell you what, if Wednesday go and pull a, a victory out of the bag against Norwich then that is going to be tight. It's going to be tight. And the thing is, I thought I thought Wednesday were really poor against Leeds. Really, really poor. Don't get me wrong, I thought Leeds were excellent. Really, really good. 
Uh, I thought Wednesday had a couple of chances on the break. But Norwich have not been great recently. I think I think they'll still do it. I think they'll still win the league. However, if Wednesday can get a victory today, then that is gonna that is gonna put a lot of pressure on them. A lot of pressure. I know this there would still be three points in front of us and Leeds, but it 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 mounts up and the momen the momentum that sometimes takes teams through is is great. But when when you are losing games, not kind of taking full points, when you're not scoring goals, when you're conceding daft goals, it gets into your head. It's all about it's all about keeping your nerve and, and that pressure, managing that pressure. And uh obviously Leeds today, they I don't know what it was really, it just didn't seem to click for him. But um yeah, it could be pressure. Pressure's and, and my dad was saying to me today at match, he said, um, oh it's it's crap that we're playing first because then Leeds know what they have to do. Where I was saying, well, I think it's better because we play, if we win, we put pressure on Leeds. And I do think that if we'd have beaten uh, Millwall last week, I think Leeds might have struggled a little bit more against Wednesday because of that pressure that you're putting on. Um, I'm not being disrespectful here. I just, that's how it, that's how it is. That's how football is. If, if a team wins and goes above you, then it does put the pressure on. You feel like you need to win. Um, and uh, and I, th I think that we we took the pressure off Leeds by drawing. So, uh, so, yeah, today we took full points. Leeds knew that going into the game. Maybe that was a factor. Norwich, by Leeds drawing, drawing, by Leeds losing, that might take the pressure off Norwich. It's it's a weird season. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just, I just flabbergasted, guys. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments who you think is going to go up. If you're a Sheffield United fan, let me know if you think United are going to do it. If give me a one, two, three, please in the comments. Um, in my opinion, Norwich will go up top. After that, who knows? Who knows? Because Billy Sharp is out looks like for the rest of the season. Uh, Bash is injured. I don't know how long he's going to be. Um, so we've got a small squad. We have got a small squad. So it's, it's going to be tight. Just depends on, on the nerve of the players, I think. I really do now. So, uh, so yeah, uh, what I was going to say, the last point I was going to make was my only issue with United um, without Billy Sharp is not having a goal scorer, an out and out goal scorer like a Billy Sharp, like a Pookie, like a, a, a Bamford, someone like that. We've got McGoldrick, who's brilliant, link up play, excellent, scores his, his fair share of goals. Medine, big, strong lad, wins a lot in the air. Neither of them are out and out goal scorers, um, for me anyway. I don't think they are. I think Hogan, Hogan, Hogan is, but he's just not found his feet yet. He's not quite, like today, he barely, he barely had a sniff. He really didn't. Um, but um, but yeah, that might be a little bit of an issue. Let's hope Billy can get back uh, before the end of the season because I do feel like we do need someone like that and especially with Hogan not not fulfilling his potential at the moment, we, we, I think we need Billy back. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Like I said, please put your one, two and three in. Well, you can put the whole bloody t league if you want. You can put the whole table. Um, so, uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I can't believe I'm going to say that we're second in the championship. God. Come on, you blades. <laughs>